Desert X is a biannual art exhibit that happens throughout the Coachella Valley and gathers international artists to create site-specific installations throughout the valley. It's one of my favorite attractions to visit every time it happens as it's like a scavenger hunt throughout the desert to find the different installations. You can see my previous visits in the description and here's all I experienced during Desert X 2020. The day began with a long drive out to the Coachella Valley and to the first art installation in the city of Desert Hot Springs. Hey guys, today I'm in the beautiful Coachella Valley going to the biannual Desert X art exhibit. The first one is over there somewhere and we're gonna see how many we can see in one day. There it is right there, starting to peek out from behind the hillside. Look how beautiful this area is though. I've never seen this view before, but it's awesome. Each of the exhibits have signs like this that know what they're called and who the artist is. I'm not going to put my own analysis on any of these art installations as you could read about what the artist intended in the description, but this was definitely one of my favorites as I loved the contrast between the art and the views. That was an awesome start to this year's event. It was really cool how that art piece looked with all the nature around it. Now we're heading on to our second one. This one's a timed entry, so you need a ticket if you want to visit it. The next installation is one of the two most popular ones that you do have to get free tickets online before you visit. I was told that if you visit on a Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday, you may not need tickets, but definitely check online before you go. If you're coming to this one, note that it has a decently steep walk to get to the art piece, but it is on cement. It is a pretty steep walk, but it's an amazing view the entire time, and as long as you take your time, you should be able to do it fine. The main highlight about this exhibit is where it's located on top of this lot, as the views towards San Jacinto Mountain are absolutely stunning. This is definitely the exhibit that I saw the most people wanting to pose underneath, so you're going to have to wait your turn if you want to get shots without people in them. Check it out, this lot is for sale. Who wants to go in and buy it with me? Made it back down the hill, heading on to our next ticketed experience for passengers. From there, it was about a 30 minute drive to the next installation. This is our last of the ticketed ones for the day. It's like a maze out in the desert and it seems to be one of the most popular ones this year. Passengers is a unique installation in the middle of the desert, as it's a maze made of rugs woven from palm fibers. I enjoyed this one even more when I read about the artist and the installation itself. It deals a lot with the journey that people go on throughout their lives, and to walk through the maze and then to go into the middle and to see the stairs that take you above the maze and allow you to see what you've already accomplished was a really interesting way to create an art piece like this. I can imagine that this gets busy as I saw dozens of people go through here on a Thursday, so definitely get tickets if you're going on a weekend. From there, it was only a five minute drive over to our next location, which was in the Sunnylands Garden. Every time Desert X has happened, they've had one here, and I always enjoy going to this spot. This is definitely one of the best installations they've had at the Sunnylands Garden, as it was called Women's Qualities and it had all sorts of words like beautiful, caring, nurturing, resilient, and each one of the words had letters that had plants that were planted into them. It was certainly popular and there was a lot of people exploring this one as well. If you have the time, also walk around the Sunnylands Garden. It's an incredible place and they do a really great job of keeping up and manicuring all of the different plant areas they have. From here it was about 15 minutes south to the next location which was Jack Rabbit Homestead. This was one of the ones I saw the least amount of people at as it's the furthest away one to visit if you're coming from Palm Springs. So what's interesting about this one is that it's like telling you a story while you're walking around it. When a sharp gust of wind slapped the thin walls of my little cabana. Now we're heading on to downtown Palm Springs, which is where the remaining exhibits are in that general area. Before going into downtown Palm Springs, I went to the Ace Hotel, which is on the outskirts of the downtown area, so I could stop at the Desert X Hub. 
Every year that I've visited, they've had a hub here right next to the pool, and it's fun to be able to walk around, see the merch that they have, and ask any questions that you have. Made it to the Ace Hotel at the Desert X Hub. Picked up one of my magazines, even though it's kind of late since I'm already halfway done. Still a good place to ask questions if you have questions about Desert X. The next installation was located right on Palm Canyon Drive. It featured a large building that had lots of different colorful paintings hanging inside. It was a little difficult to see because of the reflections and the fact that it was a bus stop right outside, but it was still a cool spot to stop by. So I'm not sure what this has to do with Desert X, but I think maybe North Face and Gucci are a sponsor. So North Face and Gucci Pit Stop. This one's only about five minutes away from the last one and it's definitely one of the most popular for Instagram photos. There was a ton of people there when I went. It looks like if you're interested, you can scan this with your phone. You can learn more about the exhibit. All right, leaving downtown Palm Springs for the last two or three exhibits left of this year's Desert X. The next exhibit brought us out to Gene Autry Trail where a series of billboards were the art installation. Taking over these billboards for an installation is something that they do every single time they have Desert X. It's hard to see and you basically just have to experience it from your car as you're driving. From there it was off to the second to last installation, the Wishing Well. The installation is made of yellow pieces of plastic that were taken from jugs that are used to transport water in Ghana. There's a lot more explanation about this exhibit online as well. From there it was 5 minutes to our last destination of this year's Desert X. This one's a take on the Hollywood sign and it says Indian Land. You can see how big those letters are with that person walking right there. They're pretty big. So there's a viewing area right there, but you can actually come all the way around and then walk up this path if you want to go get closer to the letters. This is definitely one of the most unique exhibits I've seen at Desert X. It takes over the landscape and there's tons of people here taking photos. Exploring this installation is definitely one of the best ways to end your day at Desert X. It's pretty cool to see these huge letters in an area I'm super familiar with and that I've driven by hundreds of times over the last few years. Thanks for exploring Desert X with me. Definitely come check out the spot for yourself. It's going to be here until the middle of May and I think there's a few more exhibits that are turning on later in the month that I'm not even going to get a chance to see. That's it for this video. I'll leave all the information in the description. I'll see you on the next video.